the law. For a link to the PDF version of these instructions, check down below in the description. The 4x4 raised garden bed requires four four foot straight timbers bracketed and four stacking stakes per level and four finishing caps for any level. Check the description below for a full list of parts and cubic soil required for each level. When connecting the brackets to your boards for this design, make sure that all boards are connected with brackets in an alternating orientation. On this timber we see that this bracket is in the down position while on the other end this bracket is in the upward position. Make sure that all boards are connected with brackets in this pattern. To connect your boards and brackets, take a bracket and slide one onto either end of your board until the snap lock hole is lined up. Once you have the hole lined up, take one of your snap lock plugs and lay it flat onto that opening. Then with the palm of your hand, apply firm pressure until you hear a click. Now flip the board around and repeat this step on the other side. If you're having trouble installing the snap lock plugs by hand, you can also use a hammer or mallet to install them. If you think that you've installed your bracket in the wrong orientation and you need to remove it and flip it around, you can do so using a flathead screwdriver. Take the flathead screwdriver and insert it into the opening on either side of the snap lock plug. Insert it and apply firm pressure into the snap lock plug and then twist up. Then flip it around again and repeat this step. Firm pressure into the nub and twist up. Now you can remove your bracket and flip it around. For hard surface installation, you can use a hacksaw to cut off the part of the stake that inserts into the ground. For the first level of our 4x4 design, I've laid out the base 4x4 shape with stacking stakes for the ground level pointed upwards. The reason that I've inserted these stacking stakes upside down is so that I can make adjustments to my base shape before securing them and hammering these stakes into the ground. Once you have the first level of your design laid out properly, flip over the stakes and hammer them into the ground. With the first level of your 4x4 design laid out, it's now time to stack additional levels. If you purchased a one level 5.5 inch kit, you can just install your finishing caps now and you'll be ready to fill it with soil and plant. For all additional levels, joints will be connected with stacking stakes that will insert into the top of your existing ground stakes.
Once you've stacked the final level for your design, the last step is to install finishing caps on top of each of the four joints, and then you're ready to fill with soil and get planting. If you have any questions on this instructional video, please email us at support at frameitall.com.